Walker and I'm completing my culinary degree here at KBCC and today I'm going to be preparing roasted Cornish hen with a homemade stuffing and gravy. So here we have all of our raw product. We have our Cornish hen, we have our homemade sausage that we're going to grind up for our stuffing. We have all of our seasonings, onion, celery, our bread, and I've already preheated the oven to 350 degrees to roast our hen at. So first I'm gonna start by washing my hands. And then we're gonna go ahead and prepare the rub for our Cornish hen. Here we have some thyme, we have some marjoram, we've got some garlic, we've got some Old Bay seasoning, some sweet smoked paprika, ground mustard, of course some salt, and some ginger. With a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. There we go, we have our rub for our chicken. Next, I'm gonna take the butter and I'm gonna stuff the skin of the bird. This is gonna allow for the bird to crisp really nicely in the oven. It's also gonna give it a very beautiful golden color when it is done. So I'm just gonna stuff that in there. I'm gonna take a look at our bird to make sure there's no extra feathers. Um, sometimes those are in there. We're gonna bend our wings back. I'm gonna sanitize my hands. Going to season the bird. Now you can season heavily, you can season lightly. This is very your taste preference. I'm gonna get in between. Rub that all in. Remember this is a nice rub. And we're going to just set this bird aside until we can prepare our stuffing. So for our stuffing, we've got some hand mile bread that's made. We've got some Italian sausage. We've got lots of herbs. So we're going to go ahead and cut up the bread into chunks. We're going to take our chicken stock and we're going to soak the bread. We're going to add in some celery seed, a little bit more Old Bay, we're going to do some dill seed in here also, some more ginger, garlic, some marjoram, some pepper, and some salt. We're going to give that a good mix. And we're going to set that aside prepared our onions, our fry pan. So we're going to take our pan, we're going to add some butter to it, 
Um, and our onions, we're gonna want to saute those down. Again, we are gonna want to season as we go here, add some salt and some pepper. And we're gonna let that go until they get very translucent in color. And we are then going to add in our celery and our sausage. So our finished product will look like this. Once we add that all in, we'll just let this go here. Once we add this is all cooked down, we're going to put this right into our stuffing mix, into our bread. Set our pan aside here. And again, we're gonna give this a nice, good mix. Once that's mixed thoroughly, we are going to get our bird that we set aside, and we are going to take some of the mix, and we are going to stuff the bird from the inside. Once your bird is stuffed, we're just gonna position the legs and the wings again and bend them back and under. I'm gonna wash my hands again. there we are going to add our bird right into our 350 degree oven and we are going to let that go approximately 45 minutes to an hour from this time we're going to take our stuffing mix we're going to put this in another pan and we are going to bake this off it's a great side I kind of just pat it down and I check it as I go so I, the underneath will cook thoroughly. And we're gonna add that right into our oven. This will take about a half an hour roughly until it's nice and golden and crispy. From there, once our onion, our onion is done here, we're gonna put this pan from the drippings from our Cornish hen, we're gonna go ahead and make a gravy. We're gonna use that by making some chicken stock, the drippings from the pan, and we're gonna make a slurry. A slurry is cornstarch and water, and it just helps to thicken the gravy so we can have a little sauce to go over our stuffing and our chicken. So from here, Our gravy will look something like this. This is called a nappe run, kind of thick. It will go right over our hen. Once our hen is done, we will go ahead and temp our hen. The inside of this bird should be 165 degrees. Here is our roasted hen, nice golden brown. We'll go ahead and give that a nice temp, just to be on the safe side. And there we are, 165. So we can go ahead and let that rest for about 10 minutes before we cut into it. And let's check on our stuffing. So 
here we have our, our gravy, our hen, and here's a nice crispy stuffing to go with it. Once we're here, we're gonna grab our plating dishes and it's got a ladle for our gravy. is nice and crispy. We're just going to cut off a little piece and we are going to display that as our presentation side of our plate here. Again, the bird is our nice stuffing from the inside. We're going to ladle over some gravy. And there you have it, our finished product of Cornish Hen and homemade stuff stuffing.